Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from sortofinteresting.com As you may notice we're up a little bit of a hill to say the least and my goodness me it's been like walking through Narnia Get ready to see some absolutely beautiful panoramas and wonderful icy footage Right, let's have a look, what have we got going on around here? Is there anyone else here I wonder? Hi! <laughs> let's go! Right then my friends, today you are joining me and my friend Gaz as we go up a Welsh hill as you might have gathered from that intro section. I wanted to start this video with a quick pan across the absolutely beautiful Bala Lake. For anyone who knows the UK or this region, this will give you a good idea as to whereabouts we are sort of on the way to the Welsh coast. And we are heading up the mountain, Aaron Fousey. Now, please forgive any of my pronunciations in this video. I know I'm terrible and all the rest of it. Please leave more comments like that in the, in the video comments below. Um, but really, I just wanted to share a lot of this sort of footage and scenery as it was an absolutely fantastic walk. I mean, this mountain is just under 3,000 feet high, so you can imagine that we're going to be seeing some pretty good views from up here for miles and miles around. But I think doing this in the winter and having all of this snow that wasn't quite proper deep snow coverings, but had drifts that were quite deep, like up to easily up to sort of waist height in some places, and then a lot of this sort of half snow cover, half grass and rock shining through, it had... I don't know, it seemed to really help give you more definition and sort of highlight the terrain a little bit more than if it was all generic green grass and uh, brown and slaty sort of rock. Or it was all completely white over. I think that it is the mixture of the grass and the rock showing through the snow and the ice that gives, especially at this level where the mountain top started to even out a little bit, that bit of a, and I hate to use this term, a bit of a magical sort of fantasy Lord of the Rings Narnia type appearance. And I think the fact that it must get so extraordinarily cold up here overnight has allowed a lot of these weird ice crystals to form on everything and give it that, again, I mean, it's difficult to really sum up on a camera without you being there, but somewhere like this is so totally silent and totally quiet and peaceful. And with it all covered like this and all these weird ice formations on everything when you get close up and look at it, it's just, it's an absolutely beautiful experience. And that's before you start looking off into the distance and seeing all of the Snowdonia mountains and the beer winds in the distance. We could see Lake Vernway. We could see over the coast to uh, Barmouth and where the estuary goes out to Barmouth. So again, for anyone who knows the UK or knows this sort of area, that might mean something more than me just saying random words and names. But the basic principle, I suppose, behind why I wanted to do this video is just look at this. I mean, it's just absolutely fantastic. And something like this as well was fascinating to me, at least, that I now stood on a frozen pond, frozen little pool or lake, whatever you want to describe this as. And it's not like being frozen at ground level where you've got a crack in ice and it's very thin. This could be like a foot thick of ice. It was literally like walking on cement or tarmac. Now, I certainly don't advise people go out and start walking on frozen lakes. I just want to make that absolutely clear. But for anybody who might be thinking, I can't believe you went up a mountain and started walking around on frozen ponds. That's That wasn't the sort of ice that well, again, it's difficult. I don't want to paint myself into a corner here. <laughs> but basically, that was very, very, very thick ice that there was not a single sound, a single crack, a single bit of give in it. And I can imagine that'll be frozen probably for months on end, even as the spring starts to roll in. So here we are up on the actual peak now. And as you can see, I mean, what an absolutely beautiful sight. The walk was a solid walk. It was about a 10 mile round trip and took about six hours. Don't get me wrong, this was no easy feat. And it certainly uh, reminded me how different it is going up a mountain to some of the long distance on the flat fields and roads walking that I do. But honestly, I mean, what a, what a brilliant day. What a beautiful set of uh, sights to see. And what an experience. This is the coast, like say, Barmouth and the estuary just on the very edge there going to the sea. And well, I suppose I should really wrap this video up. Please do take a look at my other videos for loads more of the great outdoors and my adventures as I try and find a narrowboat to live back on like I used to for four years in the past. And well, 
If you're curious, check the links in the description. You'll find my short books about life on a boat. You'll find me all over the internet posting random videos and photos of the great outdoors. And well, till the next time, just have an absolutely fantastic day. Keep it interesting. Keep it mountain worthy. And of course, my friends, farewell. <laughs>